The government employee's retirement system has been under fire for poor fund management and non-sustainable spending practices in the past. And now the federal government is stepping in. An audit completed by the Department of the Interior last week determined GERS to be at critical risk with a $1.4 billion unfunded growing liability. That means that without immediate action, the system could default in 14 to 19 years or less. According to the report, factors that have contributed to this situation include insufficient contribution levels, an unhealthy ratio of active to retired members, and unfunded legislative mandates. Within four days, Governor John DeYoung had addressed the recommendations made by the audit. The report written to Assistant Secretary for Insular Affairs, Anthony Babauta, states that the governor responded to concerns with equal awareness of the situation on Friday. The Office of the Inspector General gave four main recommendations for remedying the crucial issue. One, establish a joint task force composed of financial experts to determine how to address the difference between current and recommended payroll contribution levels. Two, work with the legislature, taking into account that task force's recommendations to develop and implement measures to improve the system's sustainability. Three, work with the legislature to ensure that any future early retirement legislative provisions are adequately funded. And four, require retirement system managers to identify areas for improvement, including timeframes, data accuracy, and performance reviews. The Department of the Interior has asked the Office of Insular Affairs to supervise the improvements and to ensure that the VI government provides proof that it's implementing the much-needed actions that the governor has agreed to. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.